Well, hi guys, welcome to my dining room. Remember all those hearts we cut for our last craft? Get them out, we're gonna use them today. We're gonna need our hearts, we're gonna need some string, some glue, some scissors, and I went outside and found a really pretty stick to hang all this from. So, we're gonna make a heart mobile today. So get all your stuff, go outside, find you a nice pretty stick. It doesn't have to be very big, you don't want it too big, or it's gonna take you a long time to do this one. So gather up your stuff, meet me back here, and I'll see you in five. Okay, I see you got all your stuff. I got all my stuff. So I'm going to set that to the side. What we're going to do is we're going to cut a few strings. And I'm going to make them different lengths. There's one. I'm going to cut each one about two inches shorter than the one before it. That's two. We're going to do about six strings. So I went way too short on that one. So let's move that one over. Oops. You know, happy little mistakes. No harm, no foul, right? You guys know it's the process of learning. There we go. That's three strings. This is number four. I should hold that still while I'm doing that. That's number four. And this is just a pretty little springtime craft you can do with just stuff you have around the house. You can use string, you can use yarn, you can use uh, fishing, tie, fishing line, and that way you don't see the string. It's more of an invisible hanging string that way. All right, we got our six strings cut out. So I'm gonna start with the longest one first. So I'm gonna leave about that much so that I'm able to tie around. So that's about three inches, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I am going to open my glue and so I'm gonna use two hearts at a time. So I'm gonna put one under the string, put some glue in the middle of the heart Then you lay your string right on that part. And then you take your smaller heart and you glue that on the top. They don't have to be the same color. You can use any color combinations you choose. Okay? And so that traps that string in there. Okay? And we're gonna do that all the way down. I'm gonna throw some of these out so they're easier to see what colors we want. Since I went dark on the last one, I'm gonna go kind of bright on the next one. So I put my little line of glue on there. Leave a couple inches in between. Press that down. That heart's almost as big as that one. Let's go with a smaller one. And lay that one right over the top, right? keeping your string straight. Thinking with this quarantine going on, maybe I should show you guys how to make a mask for yourself. Those of you that are in my sewing club, probably do a sewing video. You guys know how to do a basic stitch and that's all it takes to make yourself a mask. You can use any fabric you want. It's better if it's cotton and you want it at least two layers, which means two pieces thick. And 
Now you can put as many or as few of these on here as you would like. You can fill up the whole string. You can space it out a little bit like I am. Sorry, you're trying to find a small heart. I'll go over that one. Door wants a smooch. Did you hear him? He's such a silly bird. But I sure do love him. He keeps me great company. Hmm, trying to find two that are smaller than each other. Let's go. So you just want to make it colorful, make it fun. Do this to all of your strings until you have all of your strings ready. So I'm going to keep working on mine. And I want to put one down here on the bottom. You definitely want one on the very bottom. So on this one, I'm just going to put a three on this heart. I'm going to lay my string right in the middle. And then I'm going to take this heart. That one's too big. Let's take this heart and shred that string in there. See? And our first row is done. So keep working on your hearts. I'll keep working on mine and we'll come back and see how we're doing. I'll show you how to assemble it then. Well, hello, you're back. I'm back. I got all of my strings done. So I have hearts hanging off of each one. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take our stick some of this out of the way. We're gonna take our stick and we're gonna take and we're gonna tie these on here. Just a real simple little tie. There's one and two to make your little knots. Right? So that they're gonna hang down like so. So go ahead and tie all your strings on. That one I almost left too short. So I'm gonna put a drop of glue right there. Hold that knot. And this will dry clear. But it's a pretty purple color, so you can see it. Get all these tight on here. As you can tell, my hands aren't working too good today. So it takes me a little longer to tie those knots than it probably does you. But that's okay, right? We all work at our own pace. So that's three of them. Make sure you put a double knot in those so that they stay. And then you can go back and put a drop of glue on those knots. 
and that will help them stay as soon as that glue dries. Those of you who can't tie very good, have mom or dad help you tie those on. And then our last string. That silly bird. Can you guys hear all those noises he makes? He's trying so hard to get my attention, but he won't get on my arm. He's being shy today. He doesn't want to be on camera. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like. So now we need a way to hang it. So we're gonna take this string again, and I am going to cut a rather long piece I'm going to tie it in the middle so it has a ring and that's what we're going to use to hang it by and then we're going to take and tie one side one end giving it a couple knots for stability we're going to tie this side to this end. And then, ta-da! We have a beautiful mobile that we can hang up anywhere. Now, another thing you can do is you can take hearts and you can put them up the string as well and that will even give it more color. So, I think this turned out pretty cool. You'll go back and trim all your strings once your glue dries. You'll trim these off too. I didn't put a drop of glue on those yet. I guess you better do that. So, put your drop of glue on there. Wait until your drew glue dries, and then go back and trim your little strings off. And, as you can see, I still have a lot of hearts left over, so we're still gonna do another project with the hearts. So, keep your hearts. Next thing I do, I think I'll show you how to make a box to keep all your stuff in. So, if you can, find an empty box, and we'll just decorate our boxes next time, okay? Um, I hope you enjoyed this craft. I enjoyed making it. It sure was a lot of fun. It sure is colorful and pretty, and it'll look really pretty hanging up in my window. So, make sure you stay safe. Um, make sure you wash your hands a lot. Know that I miss you, and I love you, and I can't wait until we can all be together again. So, until next time. Happy crafting.